What if I told you of all engines in Yu-Gi-Oh! This new fancy little Nimble card. Nimble. Who would have thought Nimble was one of the best engines in Yu-Gi-Oh! But with the release of Sprite Sprint, Nibbles just have to be a new deck. Let's get straight into this video. Before we do, uh, you guys heard the news. I'm missing my hairline. It's it's gone. It's all gone. And the only way to get it back is if you purchase a Trip Gaming playmat in the description below. There's no more Draco Slayer playmats because they're all gone because you missed out. But get yourself a Beyond the Pendulum playmat. Every playmat purchased is one hair coming back. So make sure to get your, yours right now. Also, while you're in the description, check out the beautiful OCG sleeves that we now have courtesy of Sleeve Chief down in the description below. You can get your amazing, amazing sleeves. Now, it is the moment we've been waiting for. You guys are going to need to stay tuned for this entire video because I'm telling you, Nimbles are the future. Let's go. All right, now, I'm gonna show you guys this whole combo, this whole replay. Look at this, it's gonna blow your mind. Now you're gonna see my hand, I got Nimble Beaver. Ha <laughs> ha, Nimble Beaver. Nemesis Flex Start. Ha ha. <laughs> What's this? One interruption? Sprite. This is the best way to play Sprite. So what we're going to do here is go Nemo Beaver. Nemo Beaver, Special Nemo Angler. This is going to go into Gigantic Sprite. This is the test of Nibiru. At this moment in time, if he Veilers, I don't care. If he Imperms, I don't care. I just want to use this right now to see the Nibiru test. If it gets Hand Trap, I don't give a fuck. We'll just keep going. And if we get Hand Trap and Nibiru, it is what it is. I'll explain how Nemesis Flag is good in this deck a little later. We didn't. We play a bunch of Bisted cards, like 12, and our cards can get Bisted as well. So Nemesis Flag is more so, it's like for the follow-up, as well as Sprite Starter. And typically, it's also a good normal summon if you don't have the special summon cards. It's just overall a good card in this deck, especially with the Bisted stuff. But we didn't draw any, so it's okay. It's just a great follow-up in this scenario, or a card that gets summoned after getting Sprite and just get the follow-up of next turn. Here we're going to go to Sprite Blue. Blue is going to get Jet, uh, and then... Air Jet's going to get Smashers. And now this is where I'm going to show you guys how good this deck really is. We're going to go into Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf is going to go to the Sprite Sprint. Special two Nimble Beavers. And we're going to go Mannequin Cat. Now you guys are going to look at this board. You guys are going to be like, all right, <laughs> Triff, this is fucking shit. You, I really, you told me to stay tuned to this entire video. You're a PhD of Yu-Gi-Oh, Triff. You're a PhD of Yu-Gi-Oh. And you told me to stay tuned to this entire video. And you just fucking went Mannequin Cat Pass. How many interruptions do you guys think this is? Just curiosity. You guys probably think this is like, well. Elf Death for sure as fuck isn't summoning anything. So uh, Sprite Sprint will maybe bounce something. Well, Mannequin Cat's going to get a follow-up, like a Sprite Blue or something. That's two interruptions. One interruption. Smashers and Nibiru. Oh, that's why you go for Mannequin Cat, right, Trip? Because you have Nibiru. You want to get a follow-up. All right, shut the heck up. Here's what we're going to do. So we're going to go uh, Sprite Starter. Bring us Sprite Red. Because we already have a Sprite uh, Starter set. So you have Starter and Smashers set. We have Elf, Sprint, Red, Mannequin Cat, Nib, Nemesis Flag. We're going to go Sprite Elf here. Uh, on Fenrir, we're just going to get get some plus here, okay? Uh, I'm going to use my interruptions very wisely. He goes battle phase, so we get the Fenrir out of there. He could special another Fenrir if he like, except it will do, won't really do anything for us, so it's fine. He goes Dynamis Charge. We just want the uh, Fear. We, we got rid of the battle phase. It's very important. He summons a Joker now. And now at this point, you, you're probably still thinking, Triff, what are you doing, dog? Like, what, what's the point of Mannequin Cat? What, like, what, what is this all out here? So just pay close attention, because what I'm about to show you right here is 19 interruptions. That ass. So what we're going to do here is, so I'm letting him play. I'm literally just letting him play. And at this point, he's going to go into Ignister. Right away on the Ignister, I'm going to bounce it with Sprite Sprint. Okay? This is a beauty of Sprite Sprint and Mannequin Cat. The Sprite Sprint sends Nimble Angler, which is all possible because of Nimbles, which gets the Nimble Beavers. So one card gets you four interruptions. Sprite Sprint, Sp Sprite Smashers, like one Sprite Starter will get you Blue Jet, Blue Jet going to Sprint, uh, you get Smashes from Jet. Sprint going to Nimble Angler, going to Double and Nimble Beaver to get Mannequin Cat. So these are four interruptions. One from Sprint, one from Smashers, that's two. And then Mannequin Cat's two huge interruptions as well as a follow-up. I'll show you what I'm talking about when the time comes. For those that stay tuned to this entire video, you're about to see exactly what I'm fucking talking about. This is going to really blow your mind how broken this shit is. So here he's going to go into Beyond the Pendulum. On the Summon of Beyond the Pendulum, Mannequin Cat, what attribute does every deck play pendulums they all play dark okay cool tier limit everyone plays tier everyone plays dark it's fucking tier limit bisted they're all dark if they're not dark they're all dragon sprite they're all dark all right now what car what choke point does every deck have what choke point does every deck have 
Gigantic Sprite, Sprite Elf, Beyond the Pendulum, an extra deck monster, right? Obviously. Dark Charmer, when the Tillamant player obviously goes for that eventually. Mankin Cat is going to actually special here. Fallen of Albaz. Fallen of Albaz will, on Fusion Summon, get rid of this Beyond the Pendulum. So now he cannot summon under the zones and pop all my shit. And then I summon a Mirror Jade. So not only did we get rid of the huge problem card, a whole extra like monster, but we have Mirror Jade as an interruption on top. So Mannequin Cat isn't just an average like Imperm or like a Veiler or like a soft Sprite Red. Fuck no. It fusion summons a card. So it's, it's non-targeting. And then banish non-target. Two non-targeting interruptions that cannot be stopped. Casually fusion summon with it. Casually banish it. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon is in shambles. And on top of that, we didn't even mention the follow up. So, through all of this, all you need is one sprite card. All you need, because of Nimbles, one sprite sprint, so one sprite starter, two level twos, anything. In fact, you could do this in any deck. I was going to show you guys in future videos. You can go fucking Dark Charmer. Every deck plays Dark Charmer, special a fucking Magnemutt. Go to Sprite Sprint, send Angler, send Double Beaver, get Mannequin Cat. Have the same board, same setup. Every deck could do this. Nimble changed the game because of Sprite Sprint. This card's so insane. Like, it's so absurd together. And then Mannequin Cat is what is the glue for all this. As an interruption, you go Fallen of Alabas to get Mirror Jade. And it's not over yet. Not only can my opponent can't really do anything here, obviously, because with the setup, it's just too much. Uh, I'm going to let him get up out of that phase. Mirror Jade is going to send Albion. And Albion isn't a card that's just like, oh, cool, you just send a random card. No. End phase, Albion's going to get our follow-up. So this deck, I told you, plays 12 Bisted cards. So <laughs> not only is Albaz getting value for us, but it's getting our Bisted cards. And we have, like, so many. I just didn't happen to draw any. It's just insane. And my turn comes around. Bro, it's crazy. You even play two Mannequin Cat. You, like, like, the extra deck has so much space. You play Prosperity. You Prosperity for six. The extra deck has so much fucking space. And you play 26 hand traps going second. I only drew one. What the fuck is this? I played 23 hand traps. I only drew one. Can someone do the math on that? 40 card deck, 23 hand traps, 17 insane cards. I drew four insane cards. It's all good. So in a scenario like this, I'm saving Ghost Mourner for when I deem it's going to hurt him the most. I felt that if I Ghost Mourner be on the pendulum... It won't do shit. I probably should have Ghost Mourner this. Did he have the negate up? Probably should have Ghost Mourner that. My friend is playing a cool Draco Slayer Math Mech deck. If you guys want to say deck profile, let me know. I got you guys. Uh, I am going to Ghost Mourner on the summon of Zelantis. On the summon, I'm going to Ghost Ogre. Ghost Mourner. Uh, so the, I thought that could be a decent choke point because if I let that resolve, he'll Ignister twice again. It'll be too much. One more and it won't stop Draco Slayer. Especially Draco Slayer Math Mech. What my friend is playing here. He just won't be able to do it. So we are close here. We're still going to try and find a way uh, to out this. And uh, guess what is my sixth card? Obviously another hand trap. Uh, uh, yeah, sixth card. That's why I hate my hand traps. Here I go Sprite Red right away. Sprite Blue. I want to lock his trap because of Mascarena. So I'm going to negate this right away. And sadly though... Uh, it's going to be tough to out all this. I'm still going to try my best. I'm going to try. I think I'm going to be able to out the board, but I just won't be able to win the end of the game. I probably could have played this one a little better. He let the Sprite Starter go. I thought he was going to negate it with Hope Harbinger. That's what I was really hoping. Because he didn't let the Sprite Starter go. Because he let the Sprite Starter go, I uh, was not able to fall on Valbaz his whole field away. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, here, and all I'm going to end on is Mannequin Cat. This is, this is I should have done better. I definitely misplayed somewhere there. I could have easily end on Sprint and Mannequin Cat for sure. I definitely just played, like, ass. And because he had Fenrir, I definitely lost that one. So we're going to go to game number three now, and we'll see how game number three will pan out. Over here, I have a classic hand of a bunch of sets and a bunch of combo. So let's go. This is the beauty of it. Like, look, Jet, I'm going to get double cross. I side double cross going for it. I don't have main deck this card. I'm going to go Gigantic Sprite. I do not care if it gets Veiled. Ghost Ogre is not in the meta. The whole game plan is Mannequin Cat, Nimble, Sprint, all that stuff. So if I activate this as the Nibiru bait... Well, he can't Nibiru now, but at least I know, like, if I do this now, I, I can't get Nibiru. If he Veilers it, I don't care. I have my Sprite Sprint combo. That's all I care about. I just go Sprint full combo. So, 
He left. It, it go, it's gone. So good. Okay. I already used blue and jet. So I'm gonna go flag for a follow up. I'm gonna put these into into sprite elf. I'm gonna put these two into sprite sprint. Set this up. Boom. GG. It's done. Dude, it's over. Lava golem. This one hurt. Obviously. So he's gonna go lava golem. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter. He's gonna go that. That doesn't matter for me. He's gonna be able to set up these two. I'm gonna cosmic one of them away. I still have. I'm still all solid luster. I'm gonna smash this other one away. That's the beauty of playing like extra cards that are like back row. I would have liked to have a link, but I couldn't. Uh, next turn, he's gonna be under Escados, so it doesn't really. So we're still in a great scenario. You're gonna go Escados. I'm gonna call Dragon. I'm gonna do some damage just in case he has hand traps. I don't really know what he has. He has uh, Dev Incarnate and Joker. You're gonna go into Barricade Blocker, which is a cool play for this deck because if you hard draw Nimble Angler, you could Barricade Blocker it away. But especially here, it's uh, just a generic level two you could go into easily and uh, get your rebrand, your branded beast in the grind game, which is pretty cool. I just want to win the grind game. That's the idea of this deck. And uh, so in doing so, I can just make an uh, elf for free now. Elf would now get blue, get jet, and obviously you can see this duel is going to be over now. Smashers. I, I opt not to even go for Mannequin Cat. I want, want to play around Lava Golem, and we win the game. This is the deck list. The idea is very simple. All of these top, uh, if you look at the top left, these 12 are all one-card starters for the, for the combo. So Nemesis Flag is also, it's just so powerful, bro. It's so powerful. You play... If you look at this, you're playing Bisted cards. You're playing 10 Bisted cards. Sprite Smashers will banish going second. So when you're playing going second, you try and go to Sprite Jet to specifically banish a card. So you could just special Nemesis Flag as well. So you play so many ways to Nemesis Flag uh, to get it going. And your cards also get banished. And going second, your card's going to get hit with Bisted shit as well. Like you, 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 In fact, you Sprite Elf specifically for a Blue or Jet. To force them to do it if you don't have a bisted but you're always gonna have bisted because you have prosperity to get the bisted so you have like 13 bisted and, uh, already and starter jet smashers so you have like 20 ways to resolve nemesis flag so i think this card is actually insane just the hard draw and if you don't hard draw nemesis flag it doesn't matter it's just a great card to draw and if you mill it you just sprite elf it that's also a huge thing as well uh mill it ha <laughs> we're not well, we're not playing tillman anymore ja 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 uh, and here, you want to put the Bisted stuff because it just synergizes so well and they're all hand traps. A cool thing about Bisted, which is why you play it, is they're half hand trap, half extender. That's why you you play it, bro. It, it's so big that it is it is a, a hand trap. So you have seven DD Crows, but better DD Crows. So you main deck 16 hand traps. Seven Bisted cards with these nine. That's 16. And the synergy of Fallen of Albaz with the rebranded and branded Beast is very, very cool. Uh, post side deck, you put in nine hand traps to your other 16 main. So that's uh, 16 plus 9 is 25. Did I do that correct? Yeah, 25 hand traps. Not even 23 or whatever I said. 25 hand traps in, the, in, in both sides. Insane. Absolutely amazing. Nimble Beaver is obviously a start, uh, uh, combo by itself. You only play two Nimble Angler. The reason why you play two Nimble Angler and not one or three is very specific. If you start off with Nimble Beaver, if Nimble Beaver specials Nimble Beaver, Nimble Beaver is a special any level 3 or lower Nimble. Any any Nimble, doesn't matter. If it specials a Nimble Beaver, Nimble Angler can no longer summon two Nimbles from your deck that are not called Nimble Angler. Henceforth, you need a second Nimble Angler in the deck or a second Nimble name for Nimble Beaver to summon to still allow the other Nimble Angler to summon Nimble Beavers. We're ahead of the curve here. It's crazy. And because you're playing Barricade Blocker as a generic Link 2, you can make Nightmare Cerberus a generic Link 2 if you'd like, but because of Nimble Angler in the deck, Barricade Blocker does have its value. On top of that, because you're playing the Bisted, the synergy is also... Uh, there's a forever grind game if you're able to resolve... To get Branded Beast and Rebranded going. It's a forever grind game. So if, if you use Albions to get the Rebranded Branded Beast out of your deck, if, if the Lubellions don't... So it's like your Rank 2 engine gets the Branded uh, Spells and Traps. Your Rank 6 engine gets the Branded Spells and Traps. And then that's what gives you the grind game as well as the amazing sprite engine and the nemesis engines would give you amazing grind game. And the mannequin cat which gives you absurd grind game. But on top of that, when branded beast, if it ever goes to the graveyard, if rebranded goes to the graveyard, it doesn't matter. But if rebrand, if branded beast ever goes to the graveyard, grind game, you go barricade blocker, you, you get it back. And then because you get branded beast back, you're able to then get rebranded back because branded beast gets rebranded back. So your grind game is just never ending, which is beautiful. And uh, that's the idea behind this deck. Uh, extra deck, you, there's so much space. In fact, you play double Albions because you play double Mannequin. You really go this all really big on Mannequin Cat. That's what Nimbles offer. Really huge on Mannequin Cat. 
You don't really need anything else. Like so many times where you want to go for that gin card, I don't care about Nibiru. Like I don't. You play it in a way where you go to Gigantic Sprite really early. So and if they Veiler it or something, which people don't even play anymore, but even if they do, it doesn't matter. Like if they Veiler the, the Gigantic Sprite, you typically are able, typically are able to set up a mannequin cat protective with Sprite Red. You don't really need a Sprite Carrot. You could add it if you want to. Uh, another option, you could remove the Bisted stuff if you want. That is 12. What I do is post side deck. If I'm going against a deck that does not care about Bisted cards, I will strictly keep three Magna Mutt and one Druid Worm. And I will remove the other eight. So three, six, eight. And I'll put in these seven hand traps and just whatever. Maybe like a Cosmic or something or second Smashers. So you can remove what engine doesn't work. If post side, you could remove the if you don't if you think Bisted are really good against the deck, you remove post side the four Nemesis cards, you remove two Lubellions and rebranded Spell and Trap going second. That's eight cards. And you could remove one more random that you don't really like, maybe like a nimble angler or something. Or and then you could put in the nine hand traps. So you'll have twenty five hand traps and you still maintain all your starter cards. Like you still maintain three beaver. Blues, Jets, Starters, Prosperities, all that stuff. And you still keep Bisted as extenders. That just go into Elf. That's the deck. Absolutely amazing. You, If you really want to, you can also play the Fallen of Albaz that is just made with the monster that will special summon this turn. You could possibly play that over the Albion. That might be better because there would be some scenarios where you just want to summon the Albaz and uh, just make that guy. So that could be a scenario as well. That's it for the video. If you guys got this far, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, why don't you guys get the beautiful Triff Gaming playments on TriffGaming.com. I fucking love this deck. Nimbles will be a force to be reckoned with. Love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.